Hello everyone, welcome to the Digital System Architecture Practical Series. In this session, we will study about the working of a 4-bit shift register. So, the basic component of a shift register is a flip-flop, a D flip-flop. Of course, we can use any other flip-flop, but D flip-flop is much preferred. So, this is the D flip-flop. It has input D in and output D out and we apply the clock. So, how does it work? So, suppose if input is 1 and we activate the clock so we get output as 1 so input is 1 output is 1 when the clock is activated now suppose we give the input as 0 so if the clock is not activated we get the same output as previously uh, what we got so when we activate the clock the output changes to 0 so input is 0 output is 0 input is 1 output is 1 for a diff flip flop so now let us see how we can construct a 4-bit shift register using the D flip-flop. So we need actually 4 D flip-flops as we can see here. So here we apply the clock and suppose initially all the outputs of the flip-flops are 0, 0, 0, 0. So there are 4 uh, flip-flops so it can store 4 bit of data. Now how we shift the data? So we what we are watching is a shift in sh serial in and serial out working. So suppose we give the input at the first flip-flop as 1 and we activate the clock. So what happens? This 1 shifts, this 0 shifts to right and all these zeros, the respective, they, they shift towards the right. So what happens is, this is what is happening here. Okay, so they shift to the right side. Now suppose this is the data we are having and we give the input as 0, the next input as 0 and activate the clock. So what happens is, this data is shifted towards the right. So this is how the this particular shift register works now let us simulate it using a similar id so now we are into the similar id so first let us select the component so i select this flip flop d flip flop first now this d flip flop has a set reset so i can get we can get rid of this by just double clicking here and uh, uncheck this so that there are no set and reset otherwise we need to apply the logic for the proper functioning so just copy this and uh, paste we need four flip-flops paste and one more then for input we need uh, fixed voltage supply this is the first fixed voltage supply we apply the input to the first day flip-flop and then uh, output of this connect to the input of this one then output of this and output of this with the input of this then uh, we need to apply the clock and also check the output for checking the output I will use probe so this is the first we need four probes So do the connection. Now for the clock, what we do is uh, we cannot use actually this clock. It, it is running at a very fast pace, so we won't understand what we are getting. So what we do is uh, we take a fixed voltage supply, and uh, this switch, the push switch. I just take this switch, okay, and then uh, this two will act as a clock. So we can apply the clock with our own pace. So this clock is applied to each and every clock input. Okay, now we turn it on. So I just start this clock, start the uh, okay, and uh, just uh, start the simulation. So you make it randomly any any output we get anything. So if you want to clear this, I'll just uh, push this. I'll just uh, turn on this push buttons. So we uh, uh, everything is cleared. Now suppose I want to store one. So what I do is I just turn it on and give the first pulse. So this actually pulse is acting. This switch is acting as a clock. So the first pulse one goes inside. Now I turn it off. Now if I go on pressing this, this one will shift 
on the right side as you can see it shifts okay and suppose i want to store again one i just put on it on and apply the clock so now this one gets stored i want to store one more one so let it be one and this is okay now i want to store zero okay so this is how the shift register works okay so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching